That's good. So what else? You got uh, you, you got a, a new potential love interest? I do. So when we were on vacation, this is really interesting. When we were on vacation, one of my besties, her and her husband are best friends with a older plastic surgeon. And he texted her because he's also her plastic surgeon. He's done all her injections and all her surgeries. And he said, Faith is your friend. Oh. <laughs> 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 Well, that's my bestie's name. <laughs> is, your, is your friend single? And he like begged for my number saying I was so beautiful and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, he's obsessed with me. Oh, oh my God. Love that. So he texted me and he was like, um, we have a mutual friend trying to set us up. And my name is B. And yeah. my name is Beep and I'm friends with Beep and Faith and <laughs> <laughs> um and in my head I was like, ah, Zach Slyden was better. You like that, yeah. huh? It's a tough one to beat. <laughs> and I responded, I was like, Beep, don't play shy. I know you asked about me. Yeah. <laughs> And he laughed, uh, but he's pretty cool for somebody who's almost twenty years older than me. And he's really sweet. And I saw him today, like a pre-date date, and he was just, he could not consultation. talk. A consultation in one of his many nice cars. Ooh. And he said, uh, he just, just got in his car and just spoke with no, him no, in his no, car? Cause, no, we just like kind of met up at his building and talked for a while. But he lives in a super nice place. Uh, but we were talking and he just kept staring at me and I was like, and he's like, I'm sorry. You're just so beautiful. You're, you're a beauty queen. He couldn't stop saying how beautiful I was. I was like, you love that. I That's love not corny that. at all to you. No, he was legitimately like stunned. That's that doesn't, but I don't know. You it's think a, he's lying? Like, no, I don't think he's lying. You, I don't beautiful. know. It's just, no, you are beautiful for Thank sure. You. But like, I don't. It just it feels like um, he doesn't ever get pussy. <laughs> I feel like he does because the reason I even know about him is because like, he dates a lot of younger girls. And like, how do you know that? Because me and my or my best friend would like stalk. <laughs> We're like really good detectives. She was always so interested in who he's dating. Because it was all, it's like been scandalous since his divorce. So you know who this dude is. You just haven't known him ever. You know who he is. Yes, I know who he is. One, because he's a very good plastic surgeon. Yeah. And two, uh, because Faith always talks about him just because like they've been friends and he's really best friends with her, okay, okay. with her hu husband. So also, like, we could have a little crew. That's cute, too. So what, um, why do you think it took him so long? Why do you think he asked for your number now? Well, I don't think he knew. I'm sure he's I don't seen think, you before, I don't right? I think he's seen me before. No? No. Hmm. Not until Faith was posting. I've never, like, been on Faith's Instagram except for, like, our matching tattoo fingers. Yeah, that You know what sense, I mean? Yeah. yeah, we don't have any pictures together on Insta okay. for Instagram. It's so. all coming together. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I'm glad you're excited. You're and you're going on a date on on Monday. Monday. What's today? Thursday. Yeah. Uh, but he's he asked me. He was like, "Can I please take you to dinner? Can I take you somewhere fancy?" And I was like, "Okay." He's gonna make you a hot wife, or what? And I, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you tell him that you that's your ultimate goal? You just want to be a hot wife. No, but I will tell him. <laughs> you know me. You know I will tell him. Yeah. But he's already like, we've been texting and he's really sweet. He's planning out our next 10 vacations. And I'm like, oh, I love that. He's planning out your next 10 vacations. Mm -hmm. I love a bougie man. Nice. He wants to take me to the islands. <laughs> I want to just say so many things, but just I feel like I don't want to be a piece of shit. You're not. 
He's not. He's not gonna say that. He's not. Just be. Just be yourself, Zach. Just say stuff. What? Um, I don't. It just sounds so like fake almost. It's like too good to be true. Like, oh, you're. It sounds like it's out of a movie. You know I what I'm know. saying? It's like what? No, that's so that's true. But I know how you are. I know. 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 But I am beautiful, and so you like you are one hundred percent beautiful. So he should be shooketh. One, two. I don't know. I mean, it happened for both my friends, like this pretty much same way. Yeah. Yeah, and they're happily in love, and I'm not saying that I feel that way about this man that I don't even know. Um, like I'm not, you know, physically attracted to him yet or anything. It's like uh, he's just a really nice man. I. I don't what do know. you do if he has a micro penis? What if everything is incredible and it's just the most, you know, uh, perfect scenario, but he just has a little bit of a micro I don't know. I, I forgot. I told myself I was going to check out his hands today and I didn't. Is that Has that always gone well for you? Yeah, I said it on Because I have pretty small hands. I feel like I have a decent sized dick for how small my okay, hands are. Okay, so this is the thing is I checked out <laughs> your hands and I told... <laughs> You're more girth than length. <laughs> Wait, and I, no. Yes. That means I have a fucking tuna can for a dick. <laughs> that means I have a chode. You don't if have I a have chode. more girth you're, than I do you're length. Not like a, you're not the longest penis I've seen. You're like, <laughs> you're Thank a you. medium, you're a regular size penis, but okay. you have a lot of girth. Thick. Yes. Thick boy. I know. I said that. Yeah. So, and I saw that in your hands. When we were holding hands, my hands the, told you when that. we were holding hands in the car, I was like, my hands almost the size of his hand. I thought that. No, relax, <laughs> relax. I, we need the camera to see this. That you, my hand is yes, admittedly. I've held bigger small, hands, small, <laughs> but nowhere near the size of your fucking little <laughs> T Rex hands. <laughs> Anyways, I I felt it. I thought your fingers were like your you had thick fingers, sausage fingers. Yeah, that's really what I thought. <laughs> and so I knew you were. I knew personally you were gonna have girth. Okay. Yeah, but I feel like it's always worked out for me. Like when I see people's hands, I can guess. Yeah. So the the biggest dick that you've ever seen was connected to a large pair of hands. Yes. The biggest dick I've ever seen was connected to a football player's hands. Yes. Wide receiver. Yes. Those are big hands. They got to be able to catch footballs. <laughs> Uncircumcised to his kind of grody. This is a little big ant eater. Yeah. It was it's really gross. Ant. There's a lot of rules to uncircumcised dicks. How so? Like he didn't like blowjobs because it's like sensitive, like the area. So he wouldn't even let me try. What? I don't know if he was scarred in the past from it or something. What kind of life is that to live? I don't know. How does a pussy... I feel like a mouth has more like the ability to to conform more to whatever's in it than a pussy does. I was very shook when I you saw it. I was very turned off by it. And like, I don't want to scare people who like have it. I just like, I think it's the way he just went about it. Like, I didn't even know. He kind of just like put it out. That, and I was that's like, a personal thing for sure. Because one of my best friends is uncircumcised mm -hmm. and the kid loves blowjobs. But there's, <laughs> the, kid, the 